Ann at Luke Sewing Center in Tri-County. We're here today to review the Elna 320 sewing machine. We'd like to go over the accessories that come with the machine. We will specifically go over some sewing feet, also the different stitches on the machine, how to load a bobbin and load it in the machine, and other things to get you started sewing on your machine. Okay, so let's review what's in your accessory box. Let's start up here with your feet. First is your A foot. It's your general sewing foot, but also it has the wider opening for when you do zigzag stitch. Next, we have the E foot. It's your zipper foot. Rolled hem is number G. F is your satin stitch for when you do applique. You can use that. This is the sliding buttonhole foot comes with a pack of five needles, three empty bobbins, your screwdriver, a brush for cleaning, we'll go over that at the end, seam ripper, your red felt, which will go before you put your thread on the bobbin holder, and the caps, the large cap and the small cap, and then you have an extra spool Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I'm taking the A foot, I'm gonna put that on our machine. So what we wanna do is this little knob has a notch that will secure onto this bar here. Let's put that underneath there. I've lined it up. I'm gonna lower the foot and it clicks on. So let's say you didn't want that foot, you want to change it. All you do is come back behind it and press on this little black piece. Let's raise our foot first. Press this and it drops your foot off and you're ready to put whatever foot you want to put back on there. Okay, now we're going to load up a bobbin, thread a bobbin. First, we'll put our red felt below the thread. It goes under on top of that. And then I'll take my little cap, came in your accessories, and put that there. So I'm grabbing the thread. I'm bringing it around this tension knob right here. Just like that. You'll feel it tighten as you pull it under there. Now I take my clear bobbin look for the side that has the hole, bring your thread from the inside barrel of the bobbin and pull it through. We'll take it over to this knob, push it down. I'm gonna hold this piece up. Before I do that, I want to mention on the side of your machine, this large knob that you raise and lower the presser foot and your needle with, we're going to pull that out while we make a bobbin and that will keep the needle from going up and down. First I'll put the needle in the down position by turning the flywheel counterclockwise until that needle's all the way down. Now I come back up and I pull this knob out. You heard the click. Let's go back up to the bobbin to this thread that was started. I'm going to Press the pedal and it will start winding the thread around the bobbin after I press the bobbin against this piece here. I'm gonna let that go, stop it so I can cut this tail. And I'll start the pedal again. You'll see it will evenly fill that bobbin. Okay, this is a demo, so I didn't fill the thread the whole way on the bobbin. But once you're done and it is full, just push that back, cut your thread, pull your bobbin off, and you're ready to put it in your machine. We are going to thread the machine next. So 
to do that, I'm going to push the flywheel back in. I'm going to raise my foot and my needle. So I'm turning my flywheel counterclockwise, counterwise to get the needle in the most upright position. Let's take our thread. We're coming across behind this first lever right here. The thread goes behind it. You're gonna come down the first channel and you have a number two here. It shows you go right back up. It's like a U. Come back up. With my hand, I moved this piece, the hook. We're gonna go behind it and kind of pull it. You wanna make sure that it hooks in this little piece at the very front. Then we'll bring it down. We're gonna come back to where the needle, right above the needle, there's a little piece there that you hook the thread behind there. Now I'm gonna lower the foot again because we wanna use the self threader that came with the machine. So I'm gonna hold my thread first as I bring down the needle threader. I have it in position. I take my thread, I first wanna go to the left of this notch that comes out, take the thread across, and you go, you'll see your thread is right in front of the eye of the needle. We slowly release this threader, and as it does, it catches in the back, and then you just pull your thread through and we've threaded our needle. Okay, now that we have our needle threaded, let's take our bobbin. As I mentioned, I didn't fill this all the way. We'll place it in the bobbin holder and bring your thread to this point at the beginning. Again, there's another little arrow on this metal piece that shows you which way you wanna pull your thread. You pull it through there. Let's leave it there. You want to leave a little tail. We'll take our clear top, click that in. We're good to go. Okay, let's pick up the bobbin thread now. I'm going to lower my foot, hold on to my thread, bring my flywheel right down into the bobbin. You can see it's pulling on the bobbin thread already, so I'm going to raise my foot. And there's our bobbin thread. And that's pretty painless. I put my threads both behind the machine. Okay, let's review the knobs on the machine. We'll start with the left, which is your pressure tension for your foot, um, the thread tension, typically at four, although you can adjust it. This top knob over here is your stitch selection. It matches the light blue up here, the dark blue down here. To get it to the dark blue, you put the lower knob on the navy blue down here, and then you can access 10 through 18. The lower knob is your stitch length, zero to four. And on the far right is the flywheel, which we talked about before. It regulates your needle up and down. And when you do your bobbin, you have it pulled out. The top dial up here, zero to five, is your stitch width. And the knob at the bottom is your reverse. You just press that and reverse your stitch. Okay, so let's talk about this um, accessory compartment on the Elna. First of all, it gives you a ruler, which is nice as you're sewing to double check. It slides off to become a free arm for doing those pant legs and other hard to reach. And then underneath it, it also has the drawer to add all the accessories we talked about, your feet, your seam ripper, your screwdriver, etc. Let's review the stitches now. We'll start on the top row with 
these first three are your buttonhole stitches. Then we have the straight stitch. Um, two is your zigzag. Three is the triple zigzag. Four and five are for your blind hems. Six, the shell tuck. Seven is the faggoting. And nine is your decorative satin. The stitches in the navy blue are all decorative stitches. And all you do is adjust your dial by turning the lower dial to the navy SS. And then you can go in and choose 10 through 18 for those stitches. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a few of these stitches for you. I'll start with number one, the straight stitch. I have it selected already, and I have the length at three and the width at three. Okay, so you can see it's pretty even, stitched very nicely. Now I'll cut this and do a zigzag stitch right next to it. So I'll turn my dial to two and I'll leave everything else the same. Okay, we finished our zigzag. I just want to mention at this point that when you get your machine and it's new, just take a scrap piece of fabric and practice. Go through the different stitches just to familiarize yourself. Okay, so now I want to talk about maintenance that you can do yourself on your machine. And that involves lifting the plate, the needle plate, which as you can see, there's a screw there. I've got the screwdriver. I'm just going to turn that, take this plate off, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we have the screw off of the plate. I'm gonna pop open our cover to our bobbin. I'm going to take out the bobbin. And then I'm going to take off the plate. Just keep it below the foot and it slides right off. I'm going to take out the bobbin holder and point out with my brush, this is one place that you want to clean. It will accumulate dust so just take your brush and get in there and get it out. This is especially true if you use cotton thread. Cotton thread will accumulate the dust and lint much quicker than polyester. So, and then inside the bobbin, look at all this lint and dust has accumulated. This will prevent issues for you. Um, that's something you can do at home. The other places, just where you see the dust and the lint, over the feet, back here. If you see any loose threads, sometimes they'll break off and they'll be in here. You want to do that as well. And that's something you can do yourself. Okay, so we've got it brushed out and pretty cleaned up. I'm going to put the bobbin holder back in. Then I'm going to put the plate on. There you go. Put our screw back in. Okay, now I'll put my bobbin in. Run it along the tension. Let that tail hang out as I put my cover on. And we're done.